Hey, what's up? I'm Norris and welcome back to another Sew Alone. Now today we'll be working on my latest pattern design with Nomi Pattern, ME2048, and today we'll be working on view A, which is the t-shirt. Now this is not a learn to sew video, so if you're new to sewing or just need a refresher course, you can visit our sewing and design school at sewedacademy.com. So now that you have the pattern, all your materials, let's get started. Okay, once again, like I said, today we're gonna to be using one of my latest Nomi pattern designs, which is ME2048, and we're gonna be working on view A, which is the t-shirt, okay? So it just turns to the back, obviously up top, you have all of your fabric suggestions, and you have your sizes across the top, and be sure to go down to finished garment measurements and you get an, an idea of what that finished garment will be. Now this is an oversized tee, so it shouldn't fit you um, the same way a regular size t-shirt should fit, and it's a drop shoulder. So keep all of that in mind when it comes to the details of this particular design, all right? So let's go ahead and get into this project. Okay, so first we're gonna start with the back. Don't forget to put your placement for your back patch if you're doing that. Now if you see, I already put my tag on mine. You can do that, just top stitch it on top. And then we want to press in the seam allowance on this here, okay? So on the sides, top and bottom, and then just give it a really good press. And then what, once you do that, what we're gonna do is just place it onto the back where the markings are. And then just pin. Okay, so now we're just gonna head to the machine and we're gonna edge stitch all the way across the side, bottom, the other side, and then across the top, okay? So go ahead and top stitch, come back, and we'll continue. All right, so we're back from the machine and we have our patch top stitch onto our back piece. Now this is optional, so you, you don't have to do this if you don't want it. I just thought it was a cool little detail to add. So now we're gonna take our front piece and we're right sides facing. We're going to place them on top just like this and pin across where the shoulders are. So we should have a notch pinned there first. Okay, so let's head to the machine and we're gonna stitch across the shoulders using a 5 8 of an seam allowance. Now once you do that, you're more than welcome to clean off that seam allowance using a serger or peeking shears or even a zigzag stitch. Okay, as you can see, I went ahead and stitched down my shoulders and as you can see, I serged the seams and then pressed them towards the back. Now I'm gonna turn the right side out. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our neck band. Now the neck band should be a rib knit, which means it stretches a little bit, as you can see. It's a different type of material. Still a knit though, but you can see the little ribs in the fabric. So typically these stretch a little bit more. So what, what you wanna do is, the right side is facing, you wanna go ahead and match up that notch and you wanna stitch across using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Now, we're gonna test to see if that's enough. It might not be enough. You might wanna bring it a little bit tighter if your neck band don't lay flat and stand straight up. That's typically the issue when your neck band don't lay flat. And if it's standing straight up, that means your neck band is not tight enough to pull and lay it flat, okay? So let's go ahead, stitch that across, come back, and we'll continue. Okay, so we're back from the machine. As you can see, I pressed that seam allowance open. Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna turn it wrong sides facing, just like this. And now, we're going to fit it onto the shirt. Now, this is just to see if we need to take it in more, because it does need to be a little a little tight so it can lay flat. So now that back seam, I'm gonna put it to the back. Like this. I'm gonna pin. Now there are two notches in the front. Pin there first as well. Okay, so now I pinned it, you can see you have to pull, stretch it just to get it, just to stitch it, just like that. And now we're gonna head to the machine and we're gonna stitch all the way around the neckline. Okay, so we're gonna be doing a 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance and basically what we're gonna be doing is stitching 
am pulling when it's flat because you can tell that this right here is just a little bit smaller. So the neckline needs to snap on. So we're going to keep this just like that. And I'm doing a straight stitch because I'm going to finish up and serge this off. So when it stretches over my head, my seams won't pop. But if you're not if you're not doing that, you don't want to do a straight stitch. You want to do a small zigzag, a narrow zigzag stitch or a stretch, a stretch stitch. Okay, the back stitch at the beginning and also at the end. Okay, so I'm back from the machine and I had to undo the back because the back wasn't snapping down. So like I said, you might have to take a little bit off. So I want to evenly take it off from the back. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up just like this. And I'm going to take about two inches off which means all I need is an inch here and it's two sides, it's gonna be two inches. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and pin across just so everything can stay in place. So I'm just gonna mark off. And this is gonna be my guide. So then I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna trim this off where I sewed it up at and then press it and then I'm gonna to attach it back to my neckline the same exact way that I did the first time. Okay, so I'm back from the machine. As you can see, my neck band is on, it's nice and clean. I surged the seam. And also because this is a rib neck, um, if you do mess around or make a mistake and do a straight stitch, it's so stretchy, your, um, your thread shouldn't pop at all. It depends on your fabric. Now, you can also do your neck band out of the same exact material. Now, that's also an option. Um, but once you do that, we're gonna move along. So now you can top stitch about an eighth of an inch or a quarter inch away from that seam if you want. I think I'm gonna keep mine pretty clean, but that is an option. Moving along, next, we're going to turn it wrong side out. We're right sides facing, and I'm going to work on the side seam. Now, there should be a notch on the side, you want to pin there first. All right, so you want to pin your other side the same exact way and then head to the machine. We're going to stitch all the way down to the hem using five eighths of an inch seam allowance. So do that, come back and we'll continue. Okay, so we're back from the machine. As you can see, the side seam is done. I went ahead and did a surge on the seam and Last thing you have to do is the hem of the sleeve, which is one and a quarter inches. So you could just turn up. I would serge or finish off the, the raw edge and then turn under the one and a quarter inches and then top stitch to stitch that down. And you want to do a second row of stitching about an eighth of an inch away to have the double double stitch or you can just do the single stitch but the double stitch give it just a little bit more a uh, little bit more detail and then also the same thing for the hem It's one and a quarter inches okay so once you do your hem you're all done all right congratulations you're all done now I hope you enjoyed this course and also be sure to tag me on all your amazing makes at Norris Dancer 4 and I will see you in the next so long